Hetepu, Assalamu alaikum, Haru Nefer, Namaste. This is Kasankma Keparu with another video for you. And today I want to talk about how to create a magical avatar. But before I do that, I want you to hit the like button. And also, if this is your first time watching, subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below. And please share this video with family and friends so we can get this revolution started. So before I talk about how to create a magical avatar, we have a special guest that I want to introduce. This is uh, the goddess Basset, and she is a feline, a cat goddess, and she was known as the protector of lower Egypt. Now, if you look at the uh, modern day Port Neteru, a company of the gods, you won't see her in there because she is from the older uh, pantheon. And she's similar to Sekhmet, who is a lion headed goddess, and they're both warrior goddesses. So if you're looking for any type of protection, you can appeal to Basset and she will help you. All right. So let's go on to the topic of hand, how to create a magical avatar. Now, why should you create an avatar? Well, let's say, for example, that um, you're going for a new job and you need some skills and you may not have those particular skills they're looking for. Let's say you're uh, suffering from some type of ailment. You have had uh, surgery, you have a broken leg, or you're trying to heal from a skin disease or a rash or something like that. Or maybe you're not as confident as you wish you were, or maybe you don't look as good, you don't feel you're handsome or beautiful enough. Um, whatever the case, maybe you suffer from a lot of nervousness and anxiety. So creating a magical avatar is a way for you to embody the characteristics or the traits that you most admire and want to be. So here's how it works. Let me explain so you get a better idea of this. All right. The first thing you're going to do in trying to create this avatar is think about what you want. So if I want to have more money, I can picture my avatar who will look similar to me, but wealthy, maybe wearing an Amarni suit, uh, you know, doing business transaction deals um, with my own business. Or let's say, for example, if I'm a person who would like to be more calm, cool and collected, I can even reference an avatar from the movies like James Bond, who's always cool under pressure and gets the girl. So I can uh, kind of model myself after that what I would do is I would see this avatar and I would create a world for it. This is all in your mind now. And you see the avatar going about their daily lives and handling situations in the way that um, the perfect uh, person you envision would handle those. All right. So if you want to be more relaxed and not be angry and have outbursts, you would see yourself as 007 and dealing with people in a very calm, cool and collect manner. So if you wanted to uh, acquire more wealth, you would see yourself very wealthy and, and, and never in need or in lack. OK, or if you're suffering from some type of ailment, you would see your avatar full of health and, and very vibrant and you know maybe doing cartwheels and stuff where you're not able to do that because you've just uh, had surgery, you know, or, or something of that nature. Now, here's how we go about the process of creating it. You can do this through meditation or just through your imagination. I would say about 30 minutes before you go to bed, meditate and see the avatar and see the avatar going through scenarios where it is demonstrating the traits that you want to embody. All right. And it's handling things very well and, and it's going great. Now, you should do this for at least two weeks and you can do it in your meditation. Uh, I would do it for about an hour. Or you can do it just before you fall asleep in bed, lie down on your pillow and just start to imagine and you'll drift off to sleep and maybe even take the avatar into your dreams. So do this for two weeks. And the point of when you know the avatar is ready for the next step is that it will start to have agency. It'll be autonomous. It'll start doing things without having you um, will it to do. You know what I mean? And if after three weeks it's not happening, I'm sorry, after two weeks it's not happening, then it's been three weeks imagining it but it'll get to a point where the avatar takes on a life of its own now when it does that when it starts doing things autonomously and without your um, control what you want to do then is set up a meditation session for about 30 minutes and you want to envision the avatar standing there and then the next thing you want to do is see yourself walking into the avatar and merging with the avatar becoming one and then when you come out of the meditation, you should 
feel the energy in your body. You should feel different. So, for example, if you've had a broken leg and you're wanting it to heal, you should start to feel that the pain is gone and that the healing process has started. If you um, have a cut or, or an infection or whatever, or, or rash, you should see it start to really heal. Um, if you are not feeling confident and you have a lot of anxiety, you should now feel very calm, cool, and collect, and just relaxed and at peace. So then I think the third thing is you want to do is go about your daily life. But keeping in mind, being aware of the avatar, you know, keeping that um, always at the forefront of your mind as to um, who you are. Because a lot of things that plague us, that cause us a lot of problems in our lives, is a picture of ourselves, a version of ourselves, because we're always defaulting back to that avatar, which is usually created with help of our parents, society, or when we, we, uh, we have a um, consistent pattern of behavior that helps to either create the avatar or reinforce the avatar. So if you see yourself as someone always having bad luck, you have created an avatar that you reference that is always unlucky. Or if you see yourself with low self-esteem, you're going to have an avatar that you reference who has low self-esteem. And you may not know you're doing this. You're not fully aware of it. It's, it's purely a subconscious process. But what I am showing you here is straight out of like NLP, hypnosis, hypnotherapy, where you are putting yourself in a trance state, a hypnotic state, and you are referencing this avatar that you created and kind of tricking the mind into not referencing the old avatar, but referencing this new image and version of you. And then you start to go about your daily life and act in congruence with this new avatar. You will slowly start to see, or maybe even quickly, your behavior change and you embody the characteristics of the avatar, the new avatar. Now, if you don't find that it's working at this point, then you'll need to go back and uh, magically charge, that's the word we use, charge the avatar again by creating more scenarios and, and spending an additional week or two envisioning that avatar and having to do certain things which demonstrate the character traits that you want. All right, so if you find that after you merge with the avatar, you find that you're still having pain in the leg, then go back and charge the avatar because that's really what keeps the image of us alive, you know, meaning that if we, if you suffer from a lack of confidence, low self-esteem, or what have you, you're really just referencing that, re that avatar and you're charging it. You're continually charging it by um, reinforcing the, the emotion. So you want to get rid of that image and that emotion by replacing it with a new avatar. And um, the more that you go about your daily life and demonstrate the proper traits that you want to embody, the more you magically charge it and the more powerful it becomes until it becomes a point where it totally dominates and the old avatar dies. And then you can go on to the next step, which is you would create like a grave or a, like a funeral for the old version of you. That's a magical practice where you bury the old you. All right. And it's very effective. If that's, that's for those who want to get deep into the, the magic aspect. Those are for my magis out there who uh, dedicate their lives to magic. That is really cementing the process and saying goodbye to the old you and welcome to the new you, the new avatar, the, the new person. All right. And you may find out through your life you want to do this several times. I remember when I wanted to learn HTML5, um, I envisioned an avatar, buried the old me, and then I wanted to go on and learn things like Cold Fusion, PHP. So I had to create another avatar that was very proficient with that, uh, that programming language. So you can do this a number of times. You don't have to do this just once. You can do this with any skill set you're trying to acquire and learn uh, or any athletic traits. If you want to be a, a baseball player, a better baseball player, a better basketball player, a better chess player, you can envision yourself as a world chess champion. All right. And then merge with that. And then you will find that your, uh, your games that you play, you will find that your skill increases. All right, just by doing this exercise. So anyway, that's it. Go out there and create yourself an avatar. And uh, I want you to remember that uh, we take donations. So if you are inclined to, please uh, send a donation through the PayPal link below. Or you can become a Patreon supporter. And we have special videos there that teach you more about uh, magic and instructions that will take you step by step. And um, we have some ebooks that you can download. We have the uh, Rape Culture Report. We have the Osiris Report. 
and we have the true cause of slavery these are free ebooks you can just uh, download and start reading today so my friends until our next broadcast this is Gasakma Keparu son of Mahat and Tehudi Amin Ra